What's up, my nuggets? Mr. Phantasmo here, and we are back yet again with another episode of Call of Booty. That is right. It's Friday. Did I mention? How many times have I mentioned? Because I know I have mentioned it. How many times have I mentioned that this is my favorite series to do ever? I love doing this. I love interacting with you guys and us coming together as the male species in order to somewhat try to maybe figure out what possibly might be going on in the mind of a woman and in order to may we may or may not do anything with that we may not get to the down to the very bottom of it but we're gonna try as simple-minded beings as us men are to figure these women out and then to exploit that use for our own sexual gain. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like that's just a lawsuit waiting to happen if I actually agree that that is what this series is all about. But it may or may not be depending on how you use it. You know, you could... I mean, that goes with anything in life. If you go to the store and buy a cupcake, you could just buy the cupcake because you really like cupcakes and you think they're delicious and you have a an appreciation for bakers and, and the things that they do, or you could buy cupcakes to lure little children into your van at night. So, I mean, there's two sides to every story. I'm hoping that you just use this as a vessel to discover more the nature of women and how they operate. And maybe if you have similar problems as the ones that I'm about to answer, you can use these answers in your day-to-day -day life to help you um, better understand the female anatomy. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the questions. I'm going to try and make this the best episode ever. And by best episode ever, I mean the biggest, longest, juiciest, most questions answered episode that you could ever imagine. So I purposely picked a really long gameplay and... It's, I, I do realize that it's really old. I am not. I think I might be like second or third prestige in it, but it doesn't even matter because the whole reason you guys are here is for Call of Booty. So let's go. Let's get right down into it. I'm going to try and answer as many questions as humanly possible. I went through and picked like five. And I'm also doing a sp special segment that I will probably be implementing into all of my future Call of Booty episodes, and that is a Twitter question of the week. So... Um, if you want a better chance of getting your question answered, you can follow me on Twitter where there's less questions to be competed with and I will, I will pick one question every week from my Twitter page to answer as well. So, um, here we go. Without further ado, Silence433 is going to open up with the first question and he asks, Well, Phantasmo, I asked on your video and even asked in your stream if you could give me advice on my situation. Period. Now. This is not part of the thing, but the reason that I answered his question was, first of all, he had several thumbs up, and second of all, I felt bad that I didn't answer your question before, and um, you're a fan of the stream, so you're all, you're already like my favorite person ever. But um, no, I just really, um, I feel bad when I can't answer all your guys' questions, but persistence is key, and he asked his question again, and now I'm going to answer it. So uh, that goes to all you guys who haven't gotten your questions answered yet. Um, just keep trying, just keep swimming, and maybe one day I will come across you in the ocean, and I will pick you up out of my hand and hold you to the sky, and I will proclaim this question will be answered today. Okay, so anyways, um, let's get on to the question. I'm, I'm in physical therapy after having hip surgery. I'm only 19, but since day one, my therapist, who is almost 22, has been flirting with me very subtly, and I like her a lot. This coming week might be my last week of therapy, and I really want to get past the therapist-patient relationship and ask her, and let her know, somehow, that I would like to keep seeing her. How do I do this? Okay, well, first of all, I'm going to bring up a user-submitted answer just because I freaking love when you guys work together in the comment section, you answer each other's questions and help each other out, just in case, because I know I can't get to everybody. Um... But actually, B-Boy Little Asian, I'm pretty sure that's what this, uh, he, he's, he's uh, trying to get at. That's what his name is supposed to be. But B-Boy Little Asian says, first of all, be sure that she's actually flirting and not just being nice, which is very key. Um, a lot of guys, their instinct is when they see a girl that they like, and, you know, guys will go after anything that moves, especially if you're, like, 
pretty or just a little bit cute if 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 you're any of those if you're like if you have long hair or just a, a pair of boobs in general we'll be nice to you and the and most of the time we'll be nice to you because of the fact that we might want to meet up with you and have dinner and maybe cuddle sometimes so but girls are different and especially in this professional atmosphere um you know professionally she is not going to be mean to you um if she's being overly flirty you think um that might just be a misinterpretation again um some girls are friendly some girls are flirty on purpose even though they don't like you they just like to do that because some girls are weird like that but um so yeah he said first of all be sure that she's actually flirting and not just being nice i find that a lot of people confuse the two as do i but to actually answer your question try asking her to go out with you presumable presumably something along the lines of testing your leg out to make sure she did a good job try to be funny just be confident and let her decide because ultimately it's her decision and isn't that the truth fellas ultimately it's always the woman's decision unless you want to go to jail for rape and murder so um yeah i would i would definitely agree with what he was saying and and ultimately what what you can do in any situation if you think a girl likes you or you, if you think a girl is flirting with you you can ask her you can ask her out i wouldn't ask her flat out right like hey do you like me or do you like are you just leading me on i would just subtly kind of push the envelope and try to hang out with her more um in the in the long run after you know after therapy ends um this this uh little boy little b-boy asian said you know you can you can uh testing ask her to test out your leg to make sure she did a good job i'm assuming something on, along the lines of hey would you like to go you know catch a bite to eat walk through the park make sure you, you uh properly constructed my leg back with my bionics if, if my bionics are all in line so I would just do something that along the lines that I can I can answer a lot of questions that people submit in the comment section just by saying talk to the woman I know that she might look intimidating but I can assure you that she will respond to you um, in, in a positive way right off the bat if you just talk to her because like most people like most men they're just afraid to talk to women for some reason I don't know why but once you get past that hump of rejection you know I hope that you guys just re get rejected a bunch when you first start out and I know that sounds weird but it's because the more you get rejected the more you you sort of callous to the fact that it's just a girl and there's plenty more out there and that obviously wasn't the right girl for you so keep moving on stride forth and you will find the one for you. So anyways, let's go to the next question. I hope I answered that um, to the best of my abilities. But uh, we have another one from the Lightning 565 and he says, Hey, Mr. Phantasmo, just how long should us guys trim our carpet? And I'm assuming that you're referring to my last Call of Booty episode when I told you guys to trim your carpet to get ready for Call of Booty. Obviously, it's another Friday night, so you're going to want to make sure that your carpet's trimmed up um, as well tonight. And um, as far as how long or how short you should trim your carpet, um, it really depends on what you're willing to sacrifice and how much you're willing to, um, you know, as you get closer, while you're trimming your carpet, as you get closer to the meat of the situation, you're going to find that you might develop more of a sweat, you might sweat more, and you might uh, itch or chafe easier the more or less hair that you have. So it's kind of a give and take experiment. Um, girls like, you know, some girls like different things, and it's all, it's pretty much just like playing the lottery. Sometimes you're going to win, sometimes you're going to lose, but at least you had fun doing it. I don't know. Anyways. There's another question. I just answered that because I could answer it super fast. And that's two questions already. The gameplay hasn't even ended. All right. Here we go. Another question from the comment section. Uh, this one uh, comes from Danny Beats. And he says, Mr. Phantasmo, here's my question. There's this girl that I started talking to back in May. Last month and this month, we recently started hanging out and stuff. Though, through text. She's told me she's only sees me as my friend. Wow, gosh. All of a sudden, I just completely forgot how to read. I'm going to restart that sentence. Okay, she told me she's... Oh my god, this is... Did you purposely word this to mess me up? Live on television? Alright, that's alright. She's told me she only sees me as a friend. There we go. But then, at the same time, there's a few things she does that makes me feel like she could like me. 
For instance, when she was over the other day, she was constantly giving me sass, making fun of me, pushing me around, etc., but in a playful way. Is it possible that she might like me? Is it possible that she might like you? Of course. Is it possible that Julia Roberts might like you? Sure. Is it possible that Monica Lewinsky might like you? Definitely. But you'll never know unless you talk to the girl. You must talk to the girl and tell her your feelings and then she will tell you what she thinks in return. All I'm saying is there is a bigger possibility that you're in the friend zone right now than a possibility that she likes you as more than a friend. But Considering how recently you've started talking to this girl, and I don't know where you've met her, if you've met her in school or what, because you didn't really explain that, but you haven't been talking to her for too long, so you can't possibly be that deep in the friend zone. So it's it, even if you are in the friend zone, there is a way out. There is a solution to this problem either way that if she does in fact like you, that you can uh, pull something out of your your bucket of secrets and use it on her. Um, like I said, other than other than honestly like talking to her about it in a not weird way, which is really hard. If you don't think that you can safely just come up with a conversation, you know, and like and uh, and, and whatever, I would I would just maybe. I don't know. I don't know how you're responding to when she's giving you sass and, and pushing you around if you're responding back flirty-like, but I feel like it, there's a difference between that and, and like, super friend zone. So I feel like if she's really doing what you're saying and she's really, like, flirting with you, giving you sass, all this stuff, um, you know, making fun of you, I don't know, I don't know how, how well I would take that, but... Um, if it's all in a playful manner, obviously she likes you, and you just gotta pursue it a little bit, you know, when the time is right, and finding your, finding your in, and just, just going, going about it that way. That's how I personally would take that, um, I don't know, uh, I, I think, I think that, I think that she does like you though, and I would continue to, I would continue to hang out with her, and, and like I said, talking never hurts, so you could always do that, but, um. All right, there we go. That's 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 my best answer to that question. It's so hard to answer these questions sometimes because of I'm I'm not all there with the context, and I want to be as helpful as possible, and I don't want to lie to you guys. Um, so that's why I said you might be in the friend zone, but it 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 is very possible in my opinion that you can get out of it. So um, do your best, and also anytime I give someone advice, if they if it works or even if it doesn't work, it was the worst advice ever. Please leave it in the comment section or let me know somehow on Twitter or whatever so I know if I'm just like a complete sham. I mean, I know it's just basically like I'm Miss Cleo over here giving false advice to most of you, but I'm hoping that maybe it'll help just one of you. So, without further ado, let's answer another question. That's right, four questions, one episode. I'm on fire practically. Okay, here's my question, Phantasmo. This comes from um, iJabo HD. Here's my question, Phantasmo. I'm interested in a girl, but she only speaks Klingon. You know, from Star Trek? Well, anyways, I hired a personal Klingon translator, and it turns out she wants me to get a bowl haircut and grow pointy ears. What should I do? Well, here's the thing. This is a problem, or I guess, scenario that you will run into um, with most Trekkies that you try to fillet. I don't know if fillet was the right word. That's actually a very vulgar word. It just came out of my mouth. That's what she said. So anyways, with with Trekkies, you're going to want to... If, if, if I was put in this situation personally, I would kind of turn the tables, but at the same time let her know that I'm there to support her. And I would say... You know, an eye for an eye in the in the sense that if she does the same thing and if she uh, gets this bowl haircut and grows pointy ears, not only will it show you and everyone else here how exactly you go about growing pointy ears, which I would be very interested in knowing, but it will also give you a sense of security and you guys are at both on the same level because you don't want a false Trekkie who is probably really likes Star Wars and they just make everyone look like dorks with with bowl haircuts and they make them like chop off the tips of their ears I'm still wondering how you would get them to grow into a point but um, anyways I would I would I would do it I would do it if I would give it if you can receive it if that makes sense so job OHD I hope I answered your question and now since the video has ended I will I I wanted to answer this this one other question um, from Twitter, and because I said I would answer a Twitter question, and this is from Shiraz Dahanani, and he says, um, I made a girl breakfast in bed, and instead of saying thank you, she said, how do you get in my house? 
how do I make her appreciate me? Well, some girls are like that. They have torrential mood swings and a good what I found is if you're gonna want to carry a good club or mace or something something hollowed out and wooden that's light but not too light to where it won't knock her unconscious again because clearly she's suffering from brain damage and if you want it you want to try and reenact that and maybe reverse the situation kind of like two wrongs don't make a right except for in this case two wrongs might very well make a right if not try it again and three wrongs will definitely definitely make it right from from my personal experiences so um yeah something 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 boinky like uh should take care of your problem so um other than that i hope you guys have enjoyed this extra long extra tasty call of booty episode and i look forward to answering more of your guys's questions next friday make sure and leave them in the comment section or follow me on twitter and tweet them at me and i will see you guys next episode Peace Nuggets.